In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the key features of working with Reflow with an emphasis on working with our design from Fireworks. So that if you remember the design from Fireworks, there was a paper texture in the background. We're going to add that right now. And so what I do is I open up a brand new Reflow document, click on the styling area, making sure that I'm in the body. I come to add an image, click on the icon there. There's my paper. Click open, and you can see there it is, but it's tiled, so I don't want it repeating. So there's no repeat. And of course, when I scale it, I just want it to cover. So I just want to cover the page. And I've got my texture in place. And if I zoom out, because I'm at 720 resolution now, you can see that the background texture really is in place. Okay, now let's uh, deal with the container. Now remember, the container is 1200 pixels wide and it has a dark gray color, or a very, I should say, a light gray color. So let's uh, apply that. So we can select the container by simply coming to the DOM here, clicking on container, and that will open up the styling properties for the container. And we can add a color, so we'll just uh, open up the color here, and it's going to be 238, 238, 238. So that's an RGB color. This would help if I didn't have the bracket in there, wouldn't it? Close the bracket, and there's that light gray color for the container. And again, I can take it in and out. And the other thing I want to do, of course, is to set the width. We're not going to set the width to 90%. We're going to set the width to actually 1,200 pixels. So we come to Layout, and because we know we're in the container, we can just type in 1,200 px and it is now fixed into 1200 pixels you can see that right here if you inspect the uh, code right there see okay so we got that done now the next thing we're going to do is to add that main image i just want to show you how you can really work with images here it's a lot of fun so you just grab the uh, box tool which again is nothing more than a div and i'm just going to draw about a great big div here just like that and then I'm going to uh, go to the image menu. I'm going to import the main image. Click open. And you can see that when I pull it into this div, the div lights up. And if I let go, it's now part of the div. Now, I can blow out the margins here. And you can see that the image now fits in quite nicely. Now, if you want to add some text to this thing, you just draw out a text box, type in some text, and we're going to set the text to white. So we just go to the styling menu, change the color to white, right there. There it is. There's the white text. And what we're going to do is put the text over a dark gray background. So we're going to select the, the div. Okay, there's the box. And we're going to change the color to something very dark. Okay, we're going to choose a very dark RGB color. 36, 36, 21. Press return, it's dark, and there we go. And you notice that the image and the text are in this great big area here. Well, we can fix that real nicely by coming to the layout. And instead of using a percentage for the size, you can just set it to auto. And you can set the height to auto. And there you go, you've got the 
text and the image fitting a div and it will always fit the div. Now there's another thing that you can do with these boxes which I think is really kind of cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a box right here and I'm going to bring in one of those little sidebar images and we'll bring in the buildings and we'll put that in there. And we can select the div right there and just set it to auto. Same thing on the height, auto on both sides, and there we go. Now another thing that you can do with these things is you can actually set them up for columns. So for instance, I'm going to take this div here, and instead of saying I want it to be 40 40.27 percent wide. I want it to be 30 percent width. 30. So I'll type in 30 percent. So now this div is exactly 30 percent. I'm going to duplicate it. Command or Control D, and you can see that I can drag another one out. And then I'm going to duplicate this div. Control D, and I'll drop it in place. And the really cool thing about working with these divs is I can actually get them to work right across the page by setting their right margin not to 538 but to 5% and 5%. And then the other thing I can do if I want them to line up with each other is I can just marquee all three of them come to the alignment menu and say, look, I want them to align from the top. And now they are all the same height, or they all have the same top margin value. So those are some of the things that you can do with the divs. You can take a div, put an image in it, put some text in it, fill it with a color, and then set the uh, property to auto and everything just fits. You can just fit a div directly into an object, or even better, you can duplicate these things. Control D, these are just, and remember, you can put anything in a div that you would normally put in a div, and you can just set the properties so that they're 30% across and 5% on either side. There you go, there's 100% inside the container div. So those are some of the things that you can do with Reflow. And having done that, let's take a look at now the final design and some of the breakpoints. And that's in the next video.